Hi, this is Theodore Gashas from BotGuru.net here to show you the Facebook fan page creator. The first thing you'll want to do is read the small intro here and it will give you a little bit of an insight to the fan page creator and marketing tools. Inside the intro here it will explain to you a little bit about the fan page creator portion. You will go to main settings, put in your email and password, Put in your profile URL of your Facebook account, the number of pages that you want to create, the delay in seconds between each page that's created, your website URL, the category in which you want to create your fan page, a description for your fan page, enter in the unique Facebook URL here, and this is what uh, you could use for backlinking to or uh, placing on other social networks for people to reach your fan pages. Uh, this al does allow for spin syntax and I'll get into that in here in a little bit about what spin syntax is. And then choose the type of page that you want to create. This will be associated with the different buttons up here at the top once you fill in the details. You can alternatively use proxies the allowed formats. When you click this button it will show you the format of the proxies. Uh, first one is HTTP. Then you have privates, socks, socks private proxies. Choose the file here that contains those proxies or proxy and it will run with those settings. Once you have chosen and set all your details here, choose the associated fan page type. Once in here Put the name of your fan page, choose your category, whether to auto like the page or not, and fill in the other details required for the fan page. All of these allow for spin syntax. Each one of these has different requirements for the type of fan page based on what Facebook requires. Local business requires an address and phone whereas the others do not. You can set your first wall post and your about site and these do also allow for spin syntax as well as the page name. Spin syntax is formatted like such with an open curly bracket, hello, and then a line break which, which is the shift and then the key right above enter. Hi, how are you? Close curly bracket. This will automatically choose one of these items that are separated by the line breaks, which is inside curly brackets. You can create spin syntax in however you'd like for each one of these areas, and it will randomly choose uh, from that information what to use between those uh, when making wall posts or your about section or page name uh, when creating the fan page. So you can create numerous fan pages under here. Once you've gotten to this level and you've set all your details, just hit run and it will automatically log into Facebook and create the fan page for you underneath your account. If you're wanting to use the marketing tools, <clears throat> set your email, password, profile URL, and then jump over here to the search pages, people, or groups in Facebook. And if you choose to want to search, you can go here, enter in your keywords, one per line. For friends, you can spec specify a region or location. And then choose whether or not you're wanting to auto-join groups, like pages, or add friends. And by automatically choosing, it will automatically set the other items to no or yes, depending upon what your selection was. We choose to auto-add friends. The maximum number before delay, we recommend that this be between 10 to 25. This is 10 to 25 groups, pages, friends that you want to either join, like, or add. Set this number here. The delay before next batch of join, like, and add in minutes. So once it reaches this maximum number, max before delay, once it reaches that number it will wait this amount of time in minutes before it tries to attempt to join, like, or add more friends up to that number that you set here. If you're wanting to post to groups, pages, or people after you've joined them, liked them, or added them, choose what you want to do up here. 
say we want to post to groups. Post to a group. Post to make before delay. We recommend 10 to 25. Set the number here. Delay before set of before the next set of posts. This means that once it reaches your maximum number before the delay, once it reaches that maximum number, it'll wait this time in minutes. Set that here. Additional delay, if you're on a slow connection, you can set the amount in seconds for it to wait before it does anything on the page. You can set that here. Choose yes from the drop down and put your message here, which also allows for spin syntax. The post to groups, post to pages, and post to friends all have the same formatting when it comes to posting. So when using these, it will be the exact same in these options here that you will want to set. If posting to pages, make sure to set yes and put your information in. Posting to friends, choose yes and set your information. You'll notice that previous tabs will automatically set to no when you choose yes in those specific tabs. When coming here, you want to make sure that you choose yes or what you're wanting to do from the auto liking section. Hopefully this helps educate you a little bit on what our software does and if you happen to have any questions you can email us at admin at and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.